Hello and welcome to the Ellen Maid Book Club. Today I'm doing the time and place tag. I was tagged by Pat at Book Chat with Pat and the tag was originally created by Carl at Please, you, please Read Your Book um, and I will have links for both of them in the description and I think I'll just get right into it. Question number one is a book that reminds you of your past. I had to think a little bit about this, but I landed on three that kind of feel like um, milestones for me, like growing up. Yeah, that's just how I feel. <laughs> um, so the first one would be Ronja Ravadotter or Ronja Roberts, the robber's daughter, I guess, which is by Astrid Lindgren who's a Swedish author, um, children's books author, who wrote like Pippi Longstocking and um, all of the other ones that I can't think of the English names for <laughs> right now. Anyways, that book just feels like childhood to me. Um, okay, let's try that again. I took a little break and had a little cry. Um, that book just reminds me of my mom, who's not with us anymore, and I miss her. <laughs> yeah, I was not expecting to cry on the first question, but I guess that's the power that books can have, like bring up memories like that for you. And so, I don't know. <laughs> if you're a parent, please read to your children. Yeah, so I have strong memories of that and I also was very much of a tomboy growing up um, and you know I didn't play with dolls and stuff I played in the woods <laughs> by our house with my friends and we would like build stuff and run around and jump over rocks and stuff like that so <laughs> it was just very easy to imagine being in the woods with Ronja and all of the creatures in that story um, and there was a movie made as well, which is really good. Um, and now it's being adapted into a TV series on Netflix, which I haven't seen yet, but I guess I will watch that. <laughs> I hope it's good. I hope it does the book justice. Okay, moving on to the next book um, on the first question, um, which has to be Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, which is what it says on my copy because I got it in the States in the year 2000 when I was about 12 years old. We um, lived in Los Angeles for about five months. Um, my dad went there for work and my mom and I um, went with him and I went to school there for a couple of months. And so like five months is a really long time when you're 12. <laughs> so. Uh, and this was recommended to us by one of my dad's co-workers and she was like, you haven't read Harry Potter yet? <laughs> so we got this just as we were leaving LA. Um, so I was reading it at like the airport and the flight back home to Sweden. So yeah, that's why this is <laughs> sort of marks that period in my life for me. And then of course we went to, you know, read all the other books and that was a big part of my um, the following years, you know. The third one is a Swedish book by a Swedish author called Jan Gio. I don't have a copy of it, but it's called Unskan, um, The Evil. I think it's an like an autobiographical fiction story. Um, it's about a boy who goes to boarding school in Sweden and there are mm, <laughs> abusive traditions, I guess you could say and like his domestic life and yeah it's a really good book um and we read that in high school i guess would be the equivalent and there was a movie that came out when i was in high school as well so we went to see that as like the whole class <laughs> went to see it in at the movies at the cinema it's a very good book and i have very strong memories of reading it and so that just sort of represents my teenage years, I guess, as a milestone. Question number two is a book that is set in a place you want to visit but have not. I have been to Los Angeles, but other than that, I've mainly traveled within 
Europe. So there are a lot of places that I would love to visit. I would love to go to Japan, um, South America. It's been a, like a lifelong dream to, you know, uh, Machu Picchu and all of the, like, the rainforests and culture and yeah, lots of stuff. <laughs> I can't really think of books that I've read that are from those places. So the only ones that I could think of is um, <laughs> this one, One Fifth Avenue by Candace Bushnell, which is set in New York that I also do want to visit someday and haven't been. This is not a book that I would particularly recommend. If you're gonna read anything by Candace Bushnell, I would suggest you read Sex in the City instead. Uh, this was okay, but it didn't really make a huge impression on me. <laughs> Um, and another one that I've read more recently is The Maiden, which is set in Scotland that I also would love to visit. I would love to go to lots of places in the UK. I've been to London, but I would love to just travel around the English countryside and like, I don't know if I'm watching like the Antiques Roadshow or something and it's just, it just looks so idyllic or like whatever BBC crime show you're watching and it's just yeah like the hills and the little villages and the castles <laughs> there are just so many places in uh, Great Britain that I would love to go and see so I'm gonna say the maiden which is set in Scotland Question number three is a book that is set in a foreign country that you admire. I think admire is a strong word. There's so much that goes into a country, like the state and the politics and the people and the culture, um, the geography and like the climate, <laughs> like the food, the music. There's so much that goes into a country. So I don't know, I have a hard time saying a country that I admire. But I do have a special place in my heart for Spain. Um, I've been to Spain several times throughout my life um, to different places and I love it. I speak a bit of Spanish or have studied Spanish for many years. So yeah, it's just um, I love anything Spanish basically. <laughs> so I have, I have two books that I would like to mention that are set in Spain, um, and the first one is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Safón, which is set in uh, Barcelona. This is the first of three books. Might be more. Anyways, I have three books and have read three books and they're all amazing. Um, they're all kind of, like the story is kind of fuzzy in my head, but the experience of reading it is a very strong memory. <laughs> Um, it's kind of a book about books and also some magical realism. I don't know how you would like categorize this, um, but just like the atmosphere and the storytelling and the, yeah, it's one of the best books I've ever read. So I highly recommend this. And the other one that is also set in Spain is The Muse by Jesse Burton, which I also enjoyed. I wouldn't put that at the same level as this, but it's a really enjoyable book. It's a dual timeline, 1967 in London and 1936 in rural Spain. Yeah, so this has art and war and relationships and a bit of mystery and yeah, really good. Question number four is a book that is set in the city province district you live in. So I am born and raised in Linköping, which is a city in Sweden with about like 100,000 citizens, I think, or inhabitants, what do you call it? <laughs> People. And there are a few books written that are set there, but it's not like a huge city. So, you know, it's not like New York. <laughs> But there is a Swedish author called Mons Kallentoft who writes um, crime novels. I'm not a huge crime novel reader, so I haven't read any of his books, but I know there are many of them and they're very popular. I think Swedish crime can be so brutal and raw, or maybe that's just something that I have 
like that's something that I heard when I was a child or something, but it stuck with me. <laughs> Maybe it's just like too close to home, too real. Like I can read about crimes in the States and like they're so far away, so they don't affect me. But like crimes happening in Sweden is like, yeah, too close. <laughs> but yeah, that's one that you can check out if you're curious and you like crime novels. Okay, so the last question already is question number five. A book set in the future that you think is or will be realistic. I really hope that this isn't the case, but the book that I immediately thought of is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I haven't read the book yet. I've only seen the TV show, but the story of it and the politics of it and the misogyny of it <laughs> is not too difficult to imagine and it's uh, absolutely horrific. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna even try to explain the story of this, but it's horrifying, <laughs> basically. But a brilliant story and I'm really looking forward to reading this and just experiencing the book. Yeah. The other one that I thought of is another one that I haven't actually read the book, but it is a book. <laughs> and it's um, A Scanner Darkly by Philip K. Dick. And so in that they have these like bodysuit things that sort of flicker and like conceal their true identity. And I just feel like there's bound to be something like that <laughs> in the future with like green screen or AI or I don't know, a mixture of something like that or like a black mirror-esque kind of thing where there's where you can sort of see information around a person or and I just uh, envision that kind of thing being used by the state or by criminals or I don't know it's just a spooky thing to think about but I think it might not be so impossible I don't think it's something that I want to see happen um, and I'm not sure A Scanner Darkly is set in the future, but I mean, it's, that's how I see it. So <laughs> yeah, those are the two I could think of. So the last thing is to tag other people. And I have a bunch of people that I want to tag for this. Um, I don't think that any of you have done this tag yet. I was going to tag Kelly at um, books I'm not reading, but she's already done it. <laughs> so I don't know. I hope that none of the rest of you have done this already. And if you're watching this and you're not being tagged, feel free to consider yourself tagged and do the tag. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm tagging Brindis at Brindis Reads A Lot, Emma at Observing Emma, Bonnie at Bonnie Nicole Writes, Keisha at The Blurred Library, Shauna at Good Tired, Victoria at A Musical Bookworm, and CJ at Book Drifter. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, got off to a bit of a rough start, but <laughs> I think we managed to pick back up again. Um, and yeah, like I said, if you feel so inclined, please do the tag yourself and, um, you know, let me know if you do it. Um, and um, I hope you have a great rest of your day um, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That looks so weird. <laughs> They're not the same size. Oh, that's so weird. Oh my God.